How are we going to start our fire tonight? We'll do a primitive method. We'll do a bow drill. And I have the drill and the socket and the hearth. But we need the actual bow. So what we'll do is go to a slash pile. Again, any one of these branches will work more or less. But let's go scouting for the ideal bow. And then we'll go put it to the test. So let's go this way. So we have this branch off this juniper. The bow is actually... It doesn't need to be combustible or dry. In other words, this could be a cow rib. Okay. It could be a piece of rebar, whatever. You know, it doesn't really matter. A ski pole. In this case, I have a decent piece of juniper here. We'll gather this up, take what we need, and then take it back to a camp and work on it there. We don't need this tip. Let's get rid of that. This bow provides the speed. The socket, which we have back at the ranch, provides the downward pressure. And those both equate to friction. And friction means heat, which is what we want to do as far as making fire by friction with the bow drill. So, so let's go back and get our other parts and we'll do it. Using my knife, making a notch here. This notch is going to support the string that we tie on this end of the bow. And then we'll string it up. A shoelace, it could be some spiral cut t shirt that's a reverse wrap two ply cord. So, what we have here are the four component parts to a bow drill. This is a socket, this provides downward pressure. This is a drill or spindle. This is the fireboard or hearth. And this is the bow. This provides the speed. The speed and the downward pressure in one focused area creates the heat we need to then produce an ember, a lot like what's on the end of a cigarette, and then we'll put that ember into a tinder bundle and blow it into flame. What we need to do now is deal with the fire um, element regarding fuel and oxygen, so we need to make a tinder bundle. So let's go over here. To some so we'll strip a bunch of this. So take this spark, and let's go back over, make a tinder bundle. To, and you're just going to come here and you're going to make a little bundle, a lot like a bird's nest. And you'll fill this with coarse, medium, and fine. And that, that looks good. Okay. So stuff that in there and make some more. If you don't have a good bundle, it doesn't matter how well you do the bow drill, you're going to choke. Yeah. Because this is the fuel oxygen element, which is two-thirds of the fire triangle. So it's a pretty important thing that's often overlooked because people fixate on ignition. See, I have my left foot on the drill. I'm providing downward pressure with my left hand. My left wrist is anchored to my shin. I'm going to keep the bow parallel to the ground. And I'm just going to put enough downward pressure to get this to stick. And slowly increase the speed. Yeah, we'll show you and make this look easy, huh? Yeah, I'll show you how easy it is. That's right. Can, but keep things all kind of lined up. Let's see what you have there because it's a done deal there. There you go. There's fire 10,000 BC. Quest for fire. Just drop it right here. Nice. Woo! Right. It's interesting that how divorced we are from the basic elements. I use fire every single day, whether it's to cook or warm my house, but I've never learned how to start a fire. For real, besides without a match and a lighter. <laughs>